The rich get richer by having conviction. NFTs got people rich and then they dumped right back down. But I think this NFT with Golfin could be different. Let me tell you why. So this is Golfin in their Twitter and essentially they're a caddy system on your phone. They allow you to keep track of your shots, earn points, have a membership, buy things, and also play to earn. But most importantly, this app can slot right into Web2 because it already has product market fit and then people can use it without even knowing there's any crypto element whatsoever. So the easiest way is to show you. Now this is still an alpha or maybe what you'd call early beta and I haven't played with it myself. I'm going to show you what the mobile phone app looks like in a second, but there's plenty of competition out there. As an example, Hole19, this is like 50 euros a year and you're looking at something basic like this. This one's very, very popular. It's 155 US dollars a year and 18 birdies is very popular as well. And that's $100 a year. Golfers spend a decent amount of money on their game. And of course, when they spend this money, they want to get better and better because it's competitive, right? So if you go to YouTube and you type in golf app review, there's plenty of them out there. This is what Golfin looks like. So you've got your welcome screen, you log in with email and password, just keep it simple. And this is what the dApp looks like. You've got clubs, more on that later. Start a round, add players, pick your golf course, select which tee you're going off add your friends and whatever tea they're going off. And then you start your round and then you want to work out where you want to go. Cause obviously you can't just drive from the tee straight to the hole. That's just not normally the case. So you work out your shot, maybe something like this, 160 yards. And then you've got a club recommendation, three wood, you've got elevation, temperature, all that sort of stuff. Then you put in your strokes, your GPS track, where the ball lands. And at the end, you've got a round summary, something like this. So this is the app already. This is alpha beta. To me, it looks very, very good. Also, if you're not a golfer, like I'm not, you saw the opening scene, I have no skill. This still has product market fit for you. It just has different product market fit. But personally, as a non-golfer, I look at this and I think, how on earth did you manage to build all that? Obviously, they've put money into it. They've put in a lot of time. They've got a good team. But one thing that makes it a little bit easier is you can actually just pay for APIs that pull in all of the different courses around the world. So you're not reinventing the wheel here. Now, honestly, essentially, when I'm watching any golf, all I'm really watching is just like highlights or just like the world's biggest drives, just because that looks sick to me. Now, that's present, but I do want to learn. And a lot more people are learning and taking up golf. It's a growing sport. So the non-golfer aspect is the crypto narrative. And this is where you collect NFTs. You collect the set, this set is in rented out, it gets extra points and you get a share of that revenue. Now this has already been done to a degree. Parallel is a trading card game, haven't played it before, but it's big. And behind Parallel is Echelon. Echelon is the foundation. You probably know this already, but a lot of dApps have their own foundation set up in the Cayman Islands or something where it's a little bit friendlier with tokens. So as an example, I'm pretty sure like Camino, Tensor, they have their dApps around the world, but the actual token comes from a foundation, it's in the Caymans. Likely you've got a similar setup with Echelon and you do have a similar setup with Golfin. And then Echelon has a token. This is a market cap of like 374 million. I mentioned this just because it already has crypto product market fit. Someone's already done something similar, not golfing related, but something similar in terms of the trading cards or rather the NFTs and then separated off with the governance token. Also, Gunny is an advisor to Golfin. He's the founder of Hero Network and he says it very well. It'll be linked below. Basically, you need apps in crypto that use crypto. They use the Solana blockchain. It's nice and fast. It's cheap. It works. You've got NFTs in the background and then somebody actually uses an app and they have no idea that there's anything to do with crypto. Like you can buy a membership or you can buy credits with a credit card. You don't have to worry about USDC or anything like that. It's just a normal app. Only where the Web3 element comes in is a little bit different. So with Web3, it's about trying to use the people to be part of your team. It's decentralizing the power to a degree. So in other words, giving something back, like a reward system. That's something that doesn't happen in the Web2 world because essentially a company is for profit, completely for profit. Their mission and their mantra is to return as much money for the investors as possible. Web3, you need to be profitable, but you need to grow the pie. If you grow the pie and if you have a really hardcore community, they look after you and you look after them. So the foundation setup is Axiom. The Golfin token will be the token that's used in Axiom and Golfin will be the first app, but there'll be a lot more apps in the future. Whatever ones have product market fit. Now, full disclosure, I own some of these NFTs. I bought them at pre-sale for four sole a few months ago. I then wanted to do a decent video on this, but I've already opened all of my NFTs. So the team has given me some in order to show how it's done. So we can call this sponsored, but I'm making the content. I'm making it my way. They're my views and I am honestly bullish on this. So how I found out about this was from Jared. Jared is a CEO and founder. He did a chat for the Barrows members. The Barrows is a group created by Topo and Trader Cos was also an advisor and he was filling in some information. I remember the chat being massive, like over an hour long, and I still had so many questions. And that's why legitimately the purpose of this video is to condense all the alpha into one video. It's still decent in length, but when you've got a white paper that's 77 pages long, I'm sure you can understand why. Let's dive in a little bit further and let's go to the link tree. We'll come back to this, but the first one is join the app waitlist. This takes us to the website and this is the Golfin website. Pay to play? No, you play to earn. If we scroll on down, right down to the bottom, 
bottom. So every stage, keep on going down. We come down to this, read the white paper. Now, as I mentioned, this is 77 pages long and my team has gone through it. We won't go through the white paper. Instead, we'll touch on some very important points, such as the fact that they secured $1.3 million in pre-seed funding just in June. And as the white paper covers, there's so much product market fit here. A quick Google will basically show you that the sport of golf is growing and growing. I think there was a decade when numbers fell, but golf is becoming very popular, especially amongst crypto people. Now, also the white paper covers things very extensively. And one thing that I immediately asked was, if it's play to earn, will it compare to Steppen? And if you don't know about Steppen, great idea, terrible execution, highly inflationary NFTs. People that jumped in got wrecked unless you got in very early and the tokens went crazy and it imploded. So golfing goes through a different model. So you set up your account and as you know, you use an email or Google account. You don't use a wallet. It's web two friendly. You equip your clubs if you own some, otherwise you rent them. And remember you're renting these NFTs, not real clubs. Then you buy a ball and then you play your round. Depending on your clubs, you get more points and then you earn more tokens. As it says here, the more you engage with your digital caddy by tracking shots and recording scores, playing with friends and completing other activities, the more you earn. Rental rewards are split between the golfer and the NFT owner. So let's say as an example, you spend $4 to buy a ball. You buy this ball in the game, yet you earn maybe $8 worth of credits. How will this actually work without, you know, just destroying the entire infrastructure and everything in the game? You can't just give away free money. So the system used is a membership system. Now there are some clubhouses that charge like $186,000 a year just to play at their clubhouse. So golfers do have money. And we already know that these apps can be like 50 to $155 a year just for a basic web two app that gives you no perks. So memberships are not required to earn points, but they are required to rent clubs. And if you rent clubs, you earn more points. They have different tiers. And this essentially is a source of revenue because one thing that you can do is let's say as an example, each month, the silver membership is like $40 a month, which is more than the other app, but you can earn more credits. And if you earn more credits, then of course this works out really well for the golfer. They're getting something back. The average golfer spends three to $4,000 on golf per year. There's so many different expenses, drivers, irons, wedges, putters, golf balls, and golf accessories. Even if you don't buy more equipment, you're still spending around two to two and a half thousand dollars per year on average. And as a bit of a comparison with Steppen, runners normally spend around 750 to a thousand dollars per year on their gear. So Golfin already has a market that will pay for what they want. Now, currently the way golfing equipment works, you have a wholesaler, they have low prices. They then sell things to a retailer and things get marked up exceptionally. You as a golfer go and buy from the retailer. Sometimes you may even get five or 10% off and you feel like you're getting a great deal. The system that Golfin is building is they go straight to the wholesaler. They get the golf clubs and then they sell it to you at a discounted price. So they're still making money. That way the entirety of Golfin actually is sustainable, but you're getting a better deal than what you get if you go to a retailer. So you add your clubs, you increase earnings, and these earnings can be used in multiple ways, but they can also be cashed out to the Golfin token if you want. Now I've already mentioned this, but there's a decent amount of information covering everything. Stick with me though, this has product market fit. I know I keep saying it, it's just true. So I like this quote here. So Web3 is long overdue for a green grass play to earn experience. Play to earn emerged in Web3 and yet Golfin is one of the first projects to get serious about building a P2E gamification layer into a physical sport. At the average cost of $43 per round, Golf is ripe for the transformation. So this caddy app, it rewards you for every round. It manages your social side games and tells you which club to hit on each shot. We're going to work with Axiom Foundation, which is now all set up to flip the old model on its head and let the value of engagement accrue to the golfer. If you've been in crypto for a little bit, or even if you haven't, I'll just tell you in the previous cycle, it was all about social clubs. Social clubs tended to hang out in Discord servers. It didn't work. I think there's far more value to crypto bros actually using an app like this, making friends this way, playing games, then talking about the latest thing they're DJing into. Also, maybe it's my age, maybe it's not. But a few years ago, I would just see people doing shoeys from D Gods. Every NFT had a joint as a trait, and it was all about parties, parties, parties. Even though that's not for me, that's what I saw. These days, I'm meeting a lot of people that are literally sober. They're here to make connections, they're here to make a decent amount of money, and they also want to grow some aspect of Web3 properly. There'll be other people, of course, maybe they're part of the target market, maybe they're not. So what is the play here? I think the play is accumulating a base set. So let's have a look at what Jamie says. 3.5 soul, you can start earning golf. He goes through this here and essentially we're talking about different sets that you can form. The most affordable ones will be common sets. So we've got a couple of ways of doing this. We can go to Tensor or Magic Eden wherever and we can go and buy one of these packs. Remember these launched at a pre-sale price and a mint price of like four soul and they sold out. There will be more packs in the future as well, but this is the Genesis Mint and there were 2,400 packs sold. Sold back then I think it was around $100. So these have climbed up. What Jamie's suggesting though, 
is you go and form a base set just by buying the individual NFTs. Then we grab that set, we cache it, which I'll go over in a second, and we earn points that will change into the Golfin token in the future. You can get them on Magic Eden as well. And remember, Sniper aggregates everything. In each pack, there's three cards. They can be completely random and they have different levels of rarity. So given that one of these is 0.62 soul, if you grab three of them, it'll be less than three soul. So why would you go ahead and buy one of these? Well, it all comes down to the club. We'll go back to Linktree and we'll explore the golf ecosystem. This takes us to axiomfoundation.io. We'll launch the app. Let's go ahead. We'll connect our wallet, connect here, confirm the wallet. If you're using a ledger, you use this step and approve. These here are all of the NFTs currently released and they are also all of the different sets. Legendary sets get a higher number of points and you can see up here, the one of one driver set, so just one card gets quite a few points as well. Think of caching as soft staking. So you're not actually putting it into a staking contract or anything like that. Just Axiom Foundation, the website, it recognizes that you have the NFT and it recognizes that you want to start earning points. Anyway, so we can see all the different points that you get. We're going to go down to common because this is going to be the most affordable ones. If we grab a common set, such as this one, I've already got three out of four, then I can cache and I'll be earning 90 points or 90.86 points every day. So you can see Epic earns a lot more, Legendary a lot more, and of course, one of one a lot more. So you can see at sniper.xyz, if we find something that has a rarity that's yellow, that's legendary, then we know that that price will be higher. Like someone would have bought it for a higher price. So we can see four days ago, it was bought for 17.5 sol for this one, 32 sol for this one, and this is mythic. This sold for 18 sol, and this one sold for 70 sol. So basically, if you want to go and buy one of these, or if you want to put on some bid that's higher than this, maybe someone will sell one to you, then you have the chance of getting a legendary or epic or whatever. In my wallet here, my tutorial wallet, I have two packs here, and I have these three cards. So we'll go back to the golf and link tree, and open NFT packs. This uses its boots. So let's connect, Soul Flare, connect, and LFG. Let's go. So I've got two packs. Let's go ahead and open this one, and we'll open the pack a little bit in Soul, and we lose the pack, and of course the pack will be burned. Approve the transaction, and Boots will do its magic. Hole in one, just like that. Let's see what our cards are. So now we just rip this open, tear it open, and we're gonna see our cards. Tap, uncommon, uncommon, and we've got a rare card. This is cool. Let's go and open the other one, LFG, open this, open the pack, and approve. We'll tear this open, come on, legendary. I don't know how many more need to be minted, by the way, like how many more legendaries or epics are left in the collection that are basically gonna be in the packs. You can jump into Discord to find out that, because I'm sure that will change all the time. Okay, so we've got an uncommon, an uncommon, and an uncommon. No legendary, but I'm still happy. So we go back to Axe foundation i've just done a quick refresh of the page and you can see i can build out a set i need these two other clubs so these two irons in order to create this rare set and then with the uncommon set i've got a couple of options i could try and build them all out if i wanted to or maybe i can go and sell this one and sell this one and buy these ones or if I wanted to collect a lot of these tokens that will, of course, turn into golfing tokens in the future, then I can build out one set, cache it, build out another set, cache it, then build out the third set and then quickly uncache, quickly uncache. Then I'll have all of the clubs and then cache the whole set. Because if you do the math on 136 times 3, well, 478 is more. You can't cache all of these and this one. So if you have the full set, it is best to quickly uncache. So go and uncache within the same epoch. So this has 29 minutes remaining. And then go and cache. You must do it in the same epoch. Otherwise, you're going to lose this level, which I'll go over shortly. Now, honestly, this is the best soft staking kind of platform I've ever seen. Staking, caching, soft staking, whatever you want to call it. This is the cleanest design I've ever seen in crypto. So as an example, I haven't done anything with a smart contract. It just knows that I have these in this wallet. And if I open up the un common driver set. I can see I'm missing these two because they haven't lit up with the color. And we also see the floor price here, 0.98 and basically one sell here. And if I wanted to sell this one, we can see the current floor price is one and this one is one sell as well. Then I can just click on this. It's going to show me who's cheaper, Tensor or Magic Eden. In this case, we'll go to Magic Eden. And on this occasion, Tensor is a cheaper place and you literally just click the link and this is it. Go and buy the floor. Now there's a lot to go through, but just touch on the fact that they have their own attributes. This is covered in one of the medium posts and it'll be linked below. I think for your first set, as you kind of jump in, you just want to go and build something that's affordable for you. The other thing we can do, we know we've got one rare club. So if we click on this, we can see the floor price for this one is 2.8 sol. So I could go here, Tensor, and I could list it at floor price. It doesn't necessarily mean that someone's going to buy it, but I could list it at floor price if I wanted to try and get some soul so I can go and buy other clubs. Let's go ahead though and let's complete this set. Just because I don't have a lot of soul in my wallet, we can see this is the one I'm missing. Click on it, Tensor and Magic Eden, basically the same price. We'll go with Magic Eden, connect our wallet, connect, connect, approve. Then we'll go ahead and we'll buy it and we'll begin getting some diamond rewards. We'll approve. We'll come back to Axiom Foundation. I've refreshed the page and just like that, just straight away, I can see all four clubs. Now we just click cache. We're just clicking here. There's nothing that we're signing with our wallet. It's completely 
soft staking. Now we're earning these points every day. Now the next thing we have to cover is not losing the points. So if you decide to sell something, of course it's going to uncash. You still would get all these points every day. They'll accumulate here for as many days as you're doing it. But this level is also important. So the level increases by one for every 30 days of continuous caching. Uncaching a set without caching back any set before the next epoch will reset the level to zero. So if you do want to sell an NFT for any reason, you will lose your level bonus unless you go and buy it or get it from another wallet and actually recache it within the same epoch. And one epoch is 24 hours. At the top here, we've got my cards. You can see all of your cards and you can see at a glance what the floor price is and you can see your log of what you've been caching. Now it should be your goal to actually get this level as high as possible. Every 30 days, remember, it goes up because the higher level that you have, the more chance that your clubs will be rented out when someone doesn't own their own clubs. And I don't have an actual expectation in terms of what these tokens are going to be worth with Golfin. I just know it has product market fit it has a Web2 audience, and this is the first thing that's being built. This golf token is an ecosystem governance token. They'll be pushing out a lot more things, different sporting apps, gambling apps, whatever. The first thing is golfing. The other thing to keep in mind is who knows what's going to happen with floor price. So if you want to, go and put in some bids that maybe they're lower than floor price. Maybe they get filled. Same with the cards. The difference between this and this, not too much. But if we go and have a look at, say, Mythic, well, this is clearly a bit of a different price here. And no one's going to go and instant sell this card for 0.47 soul. But who knows? Maybe. Maybe it's still worth going and putting it in at 10 sol. I have no idea. My point is maybe you want to go put on some bids that are pretty decent. Or maybe you want to ape now. It's up to you. So what comes next? Well, the team is, of course, beta testing the app. The next people to beta test will be people that actually have the NFTs. And then their plan is at the end of the year, around that time, it'll open up to the greater public. Also, there will be more NFTs in the future. We don't have a time when that's going to happen, but that will happen. And all of this takes a little bit of time to actually play out. However, I'm still ridiculously impressed with how fast this has actually happened. But you should see in the near future some things that you can go and spend your points on. And on top of all of this, they're also planning out events and also a clubhouse. How all that works, we'll have to cover another day. So in closing, I like golfing. I'm accumulating more points. If it interests you, do the same. And if you want to play golf, then get onto the waitlist. And the easiest way to get onto the waitlist so you can actually beta test this is to actually own NFTs and cache a set. Okay, I've been recording this video for quite some time. So I think it's time that I go and practice in the living room. Thanks for watching and get caching.